Hey guys, this is Emerald Fire, and today I'm going to show you how to implement custom commands that can be activated from anywhere on the map. These can be useful for map makers who want to give the players more freedom to do stuff, such as change the time of day, or give themselves food, but don't want them to have the full range of commands, such as changing their game mode into creative mode. And, just like normal server commands, as I said, these can be activated from anywhere on the map as long as these chunks are loaded with the actual devices in them. And, if you do have these commands, you can control each of them by redstone, and that's what these levers do. They control the clock, so if the clocks stop, then it will stop checking for that command. The way this works is by crafting different colors of wool to represent different commands. So you see in my hotbar, I have one piece of white wool, as well as a bunch of different dyes for different commands that I have set up. I'll start by demonstrating the scoreboard display toggle. So if you're playing a map, and you have a scoreboard on the right side, uh, it may get in the way of your view, so you might want to allow your players to quickly enable or disable the scoreboard view. So this works by bring the wool up here, take the red dye, shift it into your inventory, and then it'll clear the red wool, give you back the white wool and the dye, and toggle the scoreboard position. So if I do that again, it goes away. And for now I'm just going to keep it on the screen so I can use it for later demonstrations. But this works by a hopper clock continually making this command try to clear red wool from the player's inventory, and if it succeeds, then it will give the player the white wool again, as well as, or I mean, this is the white wool and this is the red dye, and it'll also activate this hopper T flip flop, which will either uh, make the scoreboard not display, and to do this, I've created an extra objective called null, which just has zero, so when you display uh, score of zero, the, sky, the sidebar just disappears, and I also have one to set the display to score. Next what I have is the ability for the player to change the time of day to either day or night, and day is yellow wool, night is black wool. So first I'll change it to night. And now the sun is setting, and the moon is rising, and it is nighttime. Now I'll just change it back to day. There you go. This is pretty simple. It's the same thing again, checking for those wolves. Uh, we only need one comparator here because this activates both the command blocks. And then we take the test fours again. Um, well, actually, no, it's the, the clears, and then this checks to see if it actually cleared. Um, both comparators will activate this one, which gives the player the white wool, because both of the commands need to do that, as well as giving the players the individual dyes. So this one will give yellow dye, and this one will give ink sacks. And then this is simple, time set day, and time set night. And you can change the times to the numeric values and to whatever number you want so you can set it to any time of day. Next what I have is useful for maps that don't involve you know like hunger as in like PvP maps where you need to find your own food but possibly in adventure maps where food shouldn't matter but if you aren't on peaceful the player will take hunger and instead of giving them like several stacks of food at the beginning of the day you could just have them run this command whenever they get hungry. And uh, you can set it to any value of food you want, of course, but I have this one set to give five steaks. So right down there, you can see it went into that spot, and now the player has five steaks, and he will get five more steaks every time he does that. Like so. Okay. All right. This is, um, this is pretty simple. It's, once again, clear brown wool, and then give food, give white wool, give brown dye. Next, 
I have a pretty cool application of this. It is to join teams. So if you want to have a server with a PvP map, but you want it to be completely vanilla with no bucket plugins, you could use these custom commands to allow players to join their own teams without giving them the freedom of you know, changing their game mode, like I said. So if I want to join Team Orange Red, I'll just craft some orange wool. And now I'm on Team Orange Red. You can see my name has changed in my score panel. For some reason, there's no option for orange, but uh, this is the closest color, red. And this one actually has a bonus feature that you couldn't see now. See, it'll test for all the number of players on orange red, and it'll give out one comparator signal strength for the number of players. So I'm the only one on this team, so it's giving out one signal strength. Now, if another player were to join this team, then it would cap out at two players and would not let anyone else join the team. So uh, I'll come back to that in a little bit after I finish explaining this. But anyway, how this works is it it, uh, it tests four to see how many players are on, and then if it does allow the more players to join because the cap has not been reached, then it will continuously clear, and if it succeeds, it will join at P to orange red, give wool, and give dye. Now, back to this. So let me demonstrate what happens if the team has capped out. I will change the team cap limit to 1, and this is easily done by the number of pieces of redstone. So the number of pieces of redstone equals the number of spots on the team. So let me just go into creative mode, and there. It'll say, Team Orange Red is now full. And now this repeater will activate here, which will turn off this torch, which will no longer let anybody join Team Orange Red. So if I actually had another person here to demonstrate, then I would have them try to join Team Orange Red, but nothing would happen because it's not clearing anyone's orange wool. So let's see here. If I were to... Let me get some, some orange dye. I don't know what happened to that. Um, and I'll go, let me see, give at the 351, okay, alright, yeah, it gave, I actually wrote this wrong, you see, it gave me 15 ink sacks, so, yeah, I'll just have to put a 1 here, and that's fixed. Alright, moving on. <laughs> If I go back, mm, there we go. Go back to survival mode, craft some orange wool. It won't put me on the team. It'll just leave it like that. And then, um, if I go back to the two cap limit, it will put me on orange red again, even though I'm already on. So that's how that works. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Next, I have another thing for Team Periwinkle. So you see, I'm on Team Orange Red right now. This is exactly the same thing, except it will just switch my team. There you go. See my name changed again. I'm now on Team Periwinkle. And finally. This can also be used for other things other than commands. It can be used for direct redstone output. So, say if you want to have a door open and close, such as this, just by commands, then you will craft some gray wool, and the door opens. And then if I go ahead and do that again, it closes. This uh, continuously clears for gray wool. If it does, this gives the white wool and the dye, and it also activates this T flip-flop, which either opens or closes the door. So, uh, those are all the commands I have set up. Of course, you can manipulate the command blocks to add your own, and you can do pretty much anything you want with this thing. I mean, within reason. Like, anything that can be done with command blocks or redstone 
can be done with these wool shortcuts from anywhere on the map. Now, of course, the limitation with this is that you'll only have a possible 15 different commands because there are 15 colors of wool other than white. But you could extend this to other items, such as, I know there's hardened clay in the new snapshots. Uh, you need a crafting table to make that, though. And uh, anything else you can craft, you can also add that into your custom command shortcuts. So I hope this video was helpful, and I hope you can figure out some cool new uses for this thing, and I'll be trying as well. But uh, until then, bye!